We're the Travel Hacking Teachers, and for the last five years, we've been working and raising our family overseas. Wow, that was a that was a crazy four months uh, for us, international and everything with the lockdown. Uh, it's just been wow, what a mixed bag of emotions. I'm sure for you as well. And as travel vloggers, we've been all over the place and then we're watching other videos as well and everybody's just trying to figure everything out during this special time. Just after we wrapped up our tour of the United Arab Emirates, we headed back to our home in Dubai and the whole city went down in uh, lockdown. Yep. So today we want to share with you our story uh, for the past three months and what we've been doing and how we've been dealing with it. So. so basically we're going to talk about what life was like during the lockdown in Dubai, everything that we experienced as a family and during work. Uh, we're also going to talk about what it was like to move during this global pandemic and also then flying with kids during the COVID-19. That was uh, really an interesting experience for everybody. Yeah, so stay tuned because at the end of the episode, we are going to tell you where we're at now and what to expect in future episodes and our special news that we oh, have for Travel yes. Hacking Teachers. A bit of a surprise for <laughs> us. All right, let's start with life in Dubai. Um, what it was like to live in Dubai during the shutdown and what we did. At the peak of the lockdown in Dubai, we actually weren't allowed to leave our home unless we filled out a permit online from a government website. Uh, we had to put in where we were going to go. Uh, so, for example, to the grocery store, the name of the grocery store, the time we were going to leave the house, how long we thought we'd be grocery shopping. We had to put in our ID numbers, all that into the system. And then 15 minutes later, we would get a text back from uh, the government, essentially giving us permission to leave the house to go do that grocery shopping. Let's have a look at that now. So I got the leave permit uh, text, so I'm good to go to the grocery store. And I'm going to take the paneer. So just remember here in the UAE, in order to leave the house during this lockdown period, you must wear gloves and a face mask or you can be fined. So again, anytime you're leaving to go anywhere, this is kind of the PPE that you're going to need to take with you in order to uh, head out to the grocery. So grab the paneers. Snap onto the bike. I got about a two kilometer ride to get over to the Asalam Center to grab our groceries for the next few days. So the process to get here was no big deal. The move permit was uh, easy to obtain. And now we just head into the grocery store. So that was a pretty good look of our daily routine in terms of grocery shopping and what we experienced during that lockdown. As you know, we're teachers and we're teaching overseas. So like all other schools, we went um, virtual for a long period of time. And so we had a lot of time at home. We were teaching from home, but we were also homeschooling our own children. And then um, doing our daily life in the same space. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a balance, but one of the advantages of being home as much as we were was the opportunity to do a lot more cooking at home. So we'll show you some of that right now. Each meal that we order comes with its own recipe card. And again, they're really nice. They're in color. And on the back is the full recipe setup and all the steps to cook the meal. So let's, uh, let's unbox this thing and get cooking. All right, all the ingredients are ready. Let's get to chopping. We are gonna get started on the salad. Now, the best thing about Hello Chef is their uh, jobs like this that are great for the kids. So I'm gonna call the kids in here now and assign each one of them a job. Okay, so Cedar is gonna be our cucumber chopper and our tomato chopper. Go ahead and get started on the cucumbers. Okay. 
Okay, so Cedar did a great job chopping. Now I'm gonna bring in granite. He's gonna do the onions and the lemon. So if you're wondering, I've got this little chopping tool off of Amazon, and the coolest thing is it not only chops, it also has a dice uh, cutting blade. So again, I'm gonna switch that for the shallots. And granite, go ahead and get that onion going. The silver lining is that we got to spend a lot of time together. Yeah. And we've had three really, really good years in Dubai in the region. And so, but we've accepted jobs in another country. So we are moving to Indonesia for the next school year, uh, starting this fall. So during the kind of the peak of the pandemic was also the time that we were thinking about moving and get rid of, getting rid of all of our furniture, uh, selling our car. And ultimately it was definitely, I would call it a bit of a stressful uh, endeavor, but we did get packed up. We did get moved out. All of our shipment is heading to Indonesia and we are back in the U.S. Uh, to enjoy this summer. Now the journey to get here was also interesting. Uh, I've never really been nervous on a flight before, but the idea of COVID-19, the kids, the masks, the gloves, uh, the toddler, the oh, baby, yeah, touching everything. Where he's going to like lick the plane seats and all that <laughs> kind of stuff. Uh, but let's take a look at what that experience was for us right now. Got the baggage checked. Everything's good. Uh, we are all like fever free. So we're going to head through security now and hopefully get to the other side relatively quickly. Making it through security was no problem. Uh, really efficient like always uh, here in DXB. And rumor is all the lounges are closed, so we're gonna go check it out just to make sure uh, we can't sneak into a priority pass lounge. So hopefully we'll be gonna score some coffee somewhere. I'm so glad that we checked to see if this lounge was open. The Aha Lane Lounge uh, in Terminal 3 opened two days ago. So again, because of our access through priority pass, we get to chill here as a family and we get breakfast, we get coffee, uh, it's great. Yep, and we love coming here and bringing the kids here and just relaxing before we get on the flight. Just a whole lot of lines and waiting at this point, but we're uh, getting closer to the plane. So ultimately on the plane now, waiting for uh, taxiing and all that, but ultimately looks like a fairly fairly spread out plane and uh, we did a nice job. Again, it was pretty smooth and so far I'm feeling much more comfortable than I thought I would have on this flight, but ultimately so far so good. A moment about the gloves, the gloves and the mask. Uh, that's part of the UAE law, so we don't have a choice on if we would wear this uh, protective equipment or not, but ultimately makes me feel, I guess, pretty comfortable having it all on. Okay, so they just brought breakfast and we ran into our first sort of real challenge. Uh, they brought all four meals at the same time. So thankfully we've got the bassinet, just as the placeholder. Now, if you want to avoid or learn tips on how to stagger your meals, watch the video that's right here uh, for tips on how to avoid getting all the meals at the same time and still dealing with the baby. So 14 short hours later, we have made it back to America. And I'll tell you, it was pretty interesting going through the process. The flight itself, really, besides everyone wearing masks and gloves, felt pretty much like a normal flight. So I was pretty nervous going into this one with uh, Corona and all that, but ultimately I thought Emirates did a good job making it just seem like business as usual. Interesting thing, uh, on the plane, they gave us all these uh, US traveler health declarations talks about have you been to certain countries, have you had a fever, and we filled them out for everybody and no one collected them. Interesting uh, that they didn't even bother to take our temperatures or anything. And of course, going into the Dubai airport, we had to go through a thermal scanner. So it's uh, you know, a different world over here. But ultimately, we're glad to be back home. So now we are back in the Midwest and we are enjoying our summer vacation and we're social distancing out in nature and having a great time with that. 
So a lot of our episodes now are going to be about life in the Midwest while we're on summer vacation before we head back overseas. So we're going to definitely spend a lot of time on the Rock River, uh, hopefully hitting up the jet skis and the pontoon, do some fishing. Maybe some tubing. Yeah, explore uh, local cheap eats in the area. So we're going to bring you along on all of those adventures so you can experience life here with us. And show you how to do it with kids. Absolutely. <laughs> and then um, hopefully towards the end of summer, we will also share our experience about being international teachers. And if you're interested in doing that and traveling overseas, um, there are more episodes about that in the future. So if you like what you've seen, do subscribe, hit the bell notification. Doing that really supports the channel. So thanks so much for your support. And we look forward to spending this summer with you. Yeah. Mm. See you soon. <laughs>